Hello, right now we are driving along the motorway M1 and it is a beautiful sunny day, perfect day for a picnic. I really enjoy watching the mountain views, they look really stunning. We are now passing by the Bagatelle shopping mall. I think it is currently the most popular mall in Mauritius. And its parking lot is usually very busy. It's a nice place to hang out with friends and have lunch. We are on our way to Saint-Pierre, which is a village located in the district of Moka in Mauritius. St. Pierre is said to be located at the heart of Mauritius. And now we have reached the Vivea Business Park. The weather here is very cool and it often rains here, but today we are blessed with a sunny day. This place has a really nice environment. Right now we are passing by the MCB Bank at Saint Jean. This building has a stunning architecture I think. Looks really cool, almost futuristic. And here comes more mountain views. I really love these mountain views. They look like artworks you can admire while you're on the road. Here we are at Regi. The building that you see on the right is the headquarters of the MBC. The MBC is the Mauritius Broadcasting Corporation. It is the national public broadcaster of the island. We are now back in Port Louis, the city of Mauritius. Today I'm taking the Metro Express for the first time. It is the first light rail public transport in Mauritius. We are at the Victoria Station in Port Louis right now and we are going to the Rosil Central Station. And there are five stops before we reach the Hope Rose Hill station. So let's go. We have now reached the Rose Hill station and there's a long queue of people waiting to get on this train. Since we are in Rose Hill, we went to visit the Residence Saint Ignace. After having lunch in Brazil, we are now on our way back to Port Luis in the light rail transport. 
some more mountain views along the railway. That's nice. Here we are back in Port Ruiz after a 20 minutes trip. That was quick compared to how long it was takes from Rose Hill to Port Ruiz. Today we are in Qpip. This is my first time visiting Qpip and we came here on a Sunday. All the shops are closed today so we went for a walk in the botanical garden in Qpip. There are lots of trees here and the climate is really nice and cool around here. We also stopped by the garden facing the Jan Palak bus station in Kyopip. In this garden, there is a monument of Paul and Virginie. For those who don't know, Paul and Virginie are the main characters from a novel by Jacques Henri Bernardin de Saint Pierre. Paul and Virginie are childhood friends who fall in love. Their story takes place in Mauritius while it was a French colony. We also visited the Trou Cerf, which is a dormant volcano located in Kyopip. From here you also get a really nice view of the town of Kyopip. Today we are visiting the Casella Nature Park. There are, there's a variety of birds here. Here we can see black swans. But it's difficult to capture them on camera because of these cages. Some of them are able to walk around freely, like these peacocks. They are allowed to walk around freely inside the casella and they look really majestic with their colorful and intricate feathers. Next we went to see the monkeys. You can also see a bunch of monkeys if you go to the Grand Bassin. There's this mini animal farm at the Casella too and they have some cute looking duckies. We also saw some white bunnies and, and white little lamps too. And these are llamas, but this is the closest we can get to see them. On the other hand, we get to come really close to the giant tortoise. They are eating the grass around them. And they look really adorable too up close. It's my first time coming this close to a giant tortoise. It looks calm and gentle. Even the children are not scared to approach them.
here we have the Tulawaka ride it's some kind of mini roller coaster not too scary then we went to visit the big cats where we can see lions And there are also camels here. After that, we went to see the giraffes, who are the world's tallest mammal. There are a couple more giraffes further back there. After that we went for a mini safari trip in this truck. It started raining so most of the animals were hiding from the rain but we got to see some water ducks and antelopes. These are water bugs. They are easy to identify by the white circle pattern on their bottoms. We got to see a bunch of deers and antelopes taking shelter from the rain in this clearing. This one is a water bug and the rain does not seem to bother him at all. And we have more water bugs here. We are now reaching the end of this safari. I hope you had fun visiting the casilla with me. Right now we are driving along the Terre Rouge Verde road and the mountain views along this road look really great. This is the Peterboof mountain. It is the second highest mountain in Mauritius. You might not see it on camera right now but the highest tip of that mountain on the far right of the screen looks like immense head. Today we are on our way to Le Domaine de la Grave. We are having team building activities and lunch there. This is it, we are at Le Domaine de la Grave. It is located in a in a village called Banan, which means banana. The weather is really nice, it's ideal for an outing. This domain de la Grave is a private nature park where you can have activities like archery, kayaking, deer hunting and team building. We'll be walking a lot today and it's really hot. We also participated in a bunch of parkour games to earn points for our team. And it was really fun and exciting. 
we are surrounded by hills and it's really peaceful around here We walked a lot and we had a treasure hunt. To find the way to the treasure, we have to find several clues first. The clues would be hidden in the trees or bushes, so we had to search for them carefully. After walking down the hills, we have reached this small stream. This stream is very shallow but we managed to practice some kayaking here and it was really really fun. So this is it, this is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it and had fun visiting Mauritius with me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care and bye bye.